This is the Oppo A54 5G. All right, coming in from Oppo, this is the A54 5G. This is, is their, well, kind of their budget model with, uh, with 5G built into it. For £199, I wanted to see just how good this phone was, given the price range, because people are wanting to jump onto 5G. 5G has been packaged in most contracts and things, so let's take a look and see. The specs are pretty decent as well for the, for the money here. We've got a 90 hertz refresh rate which is pretty impressive. There's a Qualcomm 480 Snapdragon in there, which is the 5G chip, plus a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is kind of nice. Again, there's a, a 48 megapixel AI quad camera, so we'll, we'll, we'll have a look and see just how good that is. But uh, for 199, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing how, how much you get for your money here. Now, inside the box, we have, unbelievably, a rather nice TPU case. Uh, it's got a bit of a cutout, sort of happy face there, two eyes and a, and a rather unhappy looking mouse, come to think of it. But uh, we've got a cutouts on the bottom there. Very nice to see that. We have a SIM card ejector tool. We have a, a bunch of bump. And the device is on the top here. We'll come back to that in a second. Elsewhere we have a USB Type-C cable, a little pair of headphones, and a charger. Not a bad combination of stuff in an age when we seem to be getting less and less from manufacturers. Okay, so the device is quite small. Uh, it, it feels good in the hand. It's a good weight. It's a, it, it's not a particularly large phone, which is pretty good. Obviously, this is a 6.5 inch IPS LCD display which is, is not as fabulous as some of the Super AMOLEDs that we're seeing at the moment, but it's still quite good uh, for 200 quid, getting a 6.5 inch on there, and it's, it's not got much of a bezel around the outside. It runs Color OS 11, which is built upon Android 11, and I'm hoping there's going to be a nice Android 12 update. We'll probably get that whenever we turn it on, if it hasn't already been applied. And there's our camera bump around the back, which is a... Uh, Pretty good. This is the, the sort of, uh, it's a black version. I don't actually know what the name of the color is, but it's a really cool kind of two-tone paint job here that appears to be sort of a, a deeper black plus a, a gray black, but I couldn't tell you where the gradient is. And it uh, it flashes in the light as well. It's very fingerprinty, as you can see. It's been through a few hands. Then on this side, we have the power button with the, I imagine that's the fingerprint sensor. And it's a, it's a nice sort of indent, so you're you're going to find it when you're looking for it. Uh, there's no texture on the button, but that's all right, because there's an indent. We have an applied screen protector on here. I'm just noticing you can see up there on the on the camera, there's an extra circle, which is the the screen protector. Very nice. And we have the cutout here for the, the ear speaker. Then we have the SIM card tray. <laughs> <laughs> that's really uh, including everything that you could possibly want. So we have space for two SIMs and a micro SD card, <laughs> which is great, uh, considering sometimes you can't, you don't even get a SIM card tray anymore. I'll leave, mm, uh, I'm going to move my SIM to it. So, uh, and then we have some volume buttons on the side here, which are quite small and they might be a wee bit harder to find, but I guess since they're the only buttons on this side, they, they could have been larger, uh, but that's just nitpicking for the sake of nitpicking. Down the bottom, we have the almighty 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. We have a microphone hole, a USB type C connector port, and then the external speaker. There is a buzz and there is some juice. We have a wee logo or a loading icon there, which is like a door opening or opening the doors in life. Okay, so there we are. We're now fully up and running. Um, we're into Android and we're having a look at Color OS and it, it does look mighty nice. Uh, the, the screen is, is quite sharp and crisp, very colorful. Um, we have this chin down here. It, it hasn't filled out. Having a look at a bit of the bloat here, we do have Facebook right off the start, which is something I'm not too happy about. So we've got the whole Google suite uh, which is fine and we have some tools and things that that are provided by Oppo for color OS 
We do have some updates that we need to apply, but we're going to take a couple of pictures just in the studio setting here. And there we have a very standard camera app uh, that you would expect to see from Oppo and Android. So we'll take a picture of... There we go with... All right, okay, we've got to agree to continue to get into the photos app. Uh, having a quick look at, at Mr. Ash here and his packs. And um, yeah, it it really does look quite good. Um, a good amount of detail, to be to be entirely honest. I'm gonna get this outside and, and start playing with it out there, see how it goes. Okay, so here we are at my daughter's dressage competition, and I used the Oppo to record the whole thing in a in this wide shot where it picks up a bunch of the lady who is judging its instructions, and I think it does quite well. Um, obviously, it's not the most amazing quality, but it is pretty good, and you can see here from the the sparkly and the blacks and the the colours and the the vibrations, it's a very clear picture. Uh, we have a rotary style zoom method here and it goes in six times and that works very well You can use this as photographs as well. This is my little dog sitting on the arm of the chair And that's at three times and then six times zoom and it's still quite clear and crisp videoing the dog as I step in and out color to Silhouette uh, you can see that it doesn't fully white out outside of the window, which is quite nice And this is the game mode that Oppo have included and uh, I think this is going to be a bit of a killer feature here because this really makes the best out of any gaming experience. Here I am attempting to play Call of Duty for a £200 phone. This runs really nicely. I didn't notice any lag, any speed bumps or anything. The only thing I do here is touchscreen controls and I'm not terribly good at this game. It all runs very, very smoothly, fast action. The speaker does pretty well. I would fully recommend headphones for a more immersive game, but... Uh, the speaker does quite nicely. The large screen works really nice. And uh, I, I can't really fault it. Uh, I think this is one of the more ambitious games on a mobile platform. And it runs it perfectly. Oppo have taken the time to try to optimise the phone for this type of gameplay. Because this is obviously going to be a great phone for teenagers without breaking the bank. So I think the Oppo phone is really quite excellent value for money for anyone who's looking to pick one up uh, with 5g in there it means you're going to get the fastest of speeds it looks good it's got that large screen and that that chin at the bottom makes it somewhat distinctive and i do really quite like it i'd say the one thing that's missing is maybe wireless charging but even down to something like the side mounted fingerprint scanner that works really nicely and it means you don't get big blobs on your screen the Oppo Wave 54 5G is a resounding success. I fully recommend it to anyone looking for a decent budget Android phone. So thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications and take care.